Hey, what's up guys? Jace Two Cents here bringing you another build log type of thing. Only this time it's not an entire computer. We're going to be refreshing the water cooling in that bad boy right there. How many of you guys remember this build I did early last year? This was one of the first client builds I did here on the YouTube channel. And he saw some of the rigid tubing stuff I've been doing and he says, hey, I want that. So that's this week's project. Has no name, no. So we'll call it Project No Name. Now since I know some of you guys are going to be dying for specs, this is a PC I built early last year for uh, a viewer. And when it comes to specs, it's a 3770K overclock to just 4.5. It's nothing major. Uh, GTX 680s and SLI, um, let's see, it's got a Ma Maximus V formula uh, from ASUS, as you can see right there, Corsair AX850 power supply. Uh, it's got an XSPC triple rad up top, 240 on the bottom, and uh, nothing too spectacular. I mean, it's a, it's a good, powerful PC, it's going to last a long time, but he's pretty much sick of the red. He doesn't want the red in there anymore. The, the computer sits right next to him at night and up on top of the desk and he thinks the red is distracting. So we're actually going to be converting everything over to blue. Now the hardest part of this is going to be getting all of the red out of the system because we're reusing all of the blocks and the radiators obviously. So there's going to be a lot of bleeding involved uh, in this and trying to get the system clean. I've got some techniques that I use. Hopefully they'll work and they won't be too much of a pain in the ass. but red is an absolute pain in the ass when it comes to trying to get you know out of the system so first thing we got to do is we got to clean this bad boy up it's a little dusty i mean it's, it's not too bad but you can see the pcbs have some dust on them i mean the all of the tubing is is kind of dusty the radiators are dirty the fans are dirty so we'll be cleaning giving this thing a nice detailing as well you know while we're in here so all right let's go ahead and get started Well, as you can see, it's completely gutted. Um, there's the 680s over there with the kind of an old school, not really old, too old school, but EK uh, bridge right there, the FC bridge, and uh, the pump and stuff. So yeah, got it completely bled. I had it hooked up to the sink, running some uh, water through there, and then went ahead and, uh, well, bled the entire thing again through with distilled water. And so now the thing is ready to go. So I'm just going to kind of clean it up, get all the dust and dirt out of here. And then I'm going to get all the stuff reinstalled with the rigid tubing fittings and all that crap. Okay, so now it's time to open up the box from Frozen CPU. It's really long because it has the rigid tubing in there. So I figure we'll go ahead and just unbox this together, I guess. It's funny too because this box is going to be mostly empty. Considering pretty much the only thing in here of any size is the tubing. This is really hard with one hand. There we go. So it's mostly just going to be paper and more paper and more paper. We've got our uh, blue LEDs right here. Got two of those bad boys. There's uh, blue LEDs, two strips. We've got our uh, Bits Power rotatable fitting for connecting the pump and the reservoir together. Here is our tubing in here. This is our uh, X1 UV Blue from Mayhem's. It's not a pastel, it's a transparent fluid. 
and of course our 10 pack of fittings. Okay, so I'm sitting here cleaning this thing up and I want to point your attention to something. Look right down here. <clears throat> now this Phantom 820 is only a little over a year old. I built this PC in March of 2013 and all the rubber is like completely dried out. I mean, look at this, look. See that? I can just pull the pieces right off of that. It's literally falling apart as the cables go through it, as you can see. So clearly the, uh, the rubber on this case is not really up to standard, in my opinion. So that's unfortunate and nothing I can do about that. GG and ZXT. One thing I want to point out that I did here is I moved the fans to the top and the radiator to the bottom because um, the way the, the 820 is, it's got these little cutouts here for the fittings, but because of the size and how big these fittings are, uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't really fit right there. Not to mention I wouldn't be able to tighten them down very good for the sake of the acrylic tubing. So now, up underneath, it's just a... You know, the entire radiator is visible. So I think that's going to look alright. I'm going to paint these rings black more than likely instead of putting the blue ones on. And then uh, I'm going to switch the RAM from the black channels to the red channels. That way there's less red there. I might paint that strip black. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how much it, you know, how much the blue stands out versus the red. But most of the red gets covered up. So anyway, it's time to get the bottom red in there. Uh, get the block mounted down. I couldn't decide how I wanted the, the block to be which way I want it oriented because the way the loop is going to be I want it to make the most sense with the minimal amount of bending. I don't want to spend hours upon hours upon hours of bending. Although that is what rigid tubing is all about. Okay now another thing I'm often asked about is how to take your pump and turn it into a pump reservoir combo. So here we have our Bits Power uh, 250 millimeter uh, reservoir, our Alpha Cool D5 Vario pump, and then we have a, uh, this is a just a male male revolvable fitting here from Bits Power. And I use Bits Power because they have the strongest uh, O-rings on the inside. This thing doesn't flop around. And pretty much all you do is figure out how you're going to orient your pump. So you screw that into the inlet and then on the Bits Power reservoirs, you have multiple sides here. One has three ports with a little fill or a little uh, plunger. It pushes the return line down into the fluid. That way you don't have you know, a waterfall. Otherwise, that can introduce air. And you have one side with a single fitting. So you basically just end up attaching it like that. And as you can see by doing that, now I have a reservoir pump combo with just the little, little fitting there in the middle. It's all it takes. And uh, you just got to kind of think and improvise sometimes. So now we've got the pump off of the top of the PSU, which is where it was, which is now going to allow us to have a very clean loop. Some people really didn't like the way that the loop was done in this uh, system, but now it's going to be much, much cleaner. Oh, that, I was going to say, that looks blue because of where you're standing. This, the oh. chrome part. I was like, why is that blue? <laughs> I don't know. Do something inspirational. 
Okay. All right, so I've got all the fittings on. I've got the pump and res combo put together. I've got the radiator swapped up on the top with the fans on top now. And I've still got to paint the fan rings black. I'm not going to use blue. I'm going to do black. And then all I really have to do is bend the tube and fill it up. So I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to actually stop here today because this guy came over and I think he wants to play video games before he goes, climbs a rock, falls to his death as a YouTube memorial. There won't be one for me. I know that. What are you talking about? You're popular now. You're seen, popular. you're seen by hundreds of thousands. I'm not that popular. I'm just a background guy. You're popular by relation. Oh. Was that popular by proxy? Mm -hmm. Proximity? Proximity, that makes sense. 